The Kingsong S20 may be the most anticipated wheel release of the year. It's not the latest tech in EVs, but arguably the most attractive tech when it comes to the latest in self-balancing electric wheels. Based on spec, it's also just middle of the road when it comes to range and speed. But this 130 millimeter monster suspension system is its claim to fame. And not to mention 126 volts. But I have a sneaky feeling it's gonna be a bit over-engineered, similar to other wheels from recent history. But thanks to the amazing people over at Yuko, we'll be able to test my hypothesis and see. So here is the King Song S20. So really quick, I wanna shout out the awesome team over at Yuko here in the United States for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna purchase this wheel today, you can go to their site. I have a link down below. And with my link, you get $50 off your wheel purchase. So go to that link below if you wanna buy this wheel. And also shout out to E-Rides in the UK for also sponsoring this video. Awesome dealer over in the UK. So go to the link below to make a purchase today. So now on to the braking tests. As a quick note, I usually also perform acceleration tests as well, but some notable influencers have already cut out on this wheel when hard accelerating, so we're gonna kinda skip it on this one. So this EUC has a 3,300 watt hour motor, it's a 20 inch diameter tire, and it's all fueled by a 2,220 watt hour battery. And sadly, as you can see here, it's taking me far too long and way too much effort to stop this wheel from about 30 miles an hour. You can see here, I'm hitting the brakes at about the start of this building and aiming to stop by about this glass door, and it's taking me far too long. Also, on the S20 here, I'm literally sitting off the back and grabbing the handle, and the suspension is now in front of my well, let's just say sensitive area. <laughs> but this to me really isn't a great sign when it comes to city riding. So one of the things I wanna talk about is the design. So if you haven't already seen this wheel on the market, it's one of the most striking wheels on the market. They have a really cool, slick, sort of anime-esque design. You'll notice the big suspension on the back. Obviously, that's the big thing this wheel is all about. And then you might notice on mine that I don't actually have the stock pads. The stock pads were a little bit too cumbersome, so if you buy this wheel, I would say ditch them. They're mediocre at best. They kind of get in the way, especially if you're not used to a wedge situation. I would say whatever you're comfortable with, whatever your pads are that you like, your third-party pads, grab those. Velcro them on. One of the other cool things is these come with spike pedals. These spike pedals are super nice. They're like full spikes. So you're really not gonna go anywhere, especially if you're an off-road rider. The other thing you might notice obviously is the battery is all exposed. There's no shell on this, which I think is awesome. I think I personally prefer a more modular sort of mech design. And this is getting closer to that, although they went a little more anime if you ask me. But I pulled that off. I, I want just I want to see it in its raw form. I think it's a better design concept. Probably my favorite feature on this wheel, the best amenity, if you will, is the motor kill switch or the lift sensor or whatever you like to call it. If you pull off your seat here, I just have a Velcro on by the way. This right here is the key to all of this. So if you wanna lift your wheel up, up some stairs or put it up onto a platform like this or whatever you're doing over a log or something if you're off-road, um, you just put this 
down and now the motor is disengaged. It's probably the best feature on here. I think it's really genius. I like the way that they integrated it into the design. It's not some ugly button, just the magnet. And it has to go pretty far. The angle is pretty steep before it disengages. And if you're worried, don't worry. Uh, when you, you know, are riding, this can't you know, turn off your wheel while you're riding. So don't worry about that. Also right here, you'll notice the display. When you're stationary, it's gonna show you your battery in this really silly Pac-Man looking uh, icon here. To me, that's really silly. They should have gone with voltage. And then when you're going, it'll show you your miles per hour or currently it's in kilometers. So that's really nice to see it while you're going. My only qualm is really like the icon thing. Like I just would have rather have seen the actual voltage because that's how you really need to tell your battery. All right, so if you didn't see the trolley handle already in the video, here it is. It goes up and down and it is not too bad at all. Especially pushing this thing around. Look at this, not a bad situation. It's like an MSX, but much more sturdy and there's no play in the actual handle itself. Holy All right, so ignoring that trolley handle debacle, which King Song you should probably fix. Let's talk about the suspension here. So the suspension is different than the ones you've seen in the past. It's not an air shock, it is a spring, which is great. Especially if you're an off-road person, I think it's gonna be a fantastic off-road wheel. One thing you should note is there is a bit of an air chamber here which is pre-filled. You don't need to touch it at all. So the only things you need to mess with are the rebound and the sort of the compression which is sort of softer and harder uh, feeling for you. So the top one is the compression. I like to keep it for city riding all the way soft and I keep this as fast as possible on the rebound. It's going to change if you're off-road. You might want to slow down the rebound a little bit and you might want a harder feel. And the last really important thing, I've seen a lot of people on the internet messing with the preload here. Big word of caution, if you're a city rider and you're not doing big full send jumps like some of the guys on the west coast, don't touch this. Leave this fully extended. The more preload you have, the more pressure you're gonna need to enact the suspension. So you're gonna wanna leave this like a couple of clicks or like a turn or so past when it catches the washer up top here. But basically what you'll do is grab this and twist it and this will change your preload for you. So like I said, if you're like a city rider and you're not doing big off-road jumps, leave it fully extended. But overall, I'm happy with the suspension. I think it's really great. But you know, as far as they go, I think for city riding, it's gonna be a little more hard and bumpy than say like the S18 was. So I think if you're strictly a city rider, this probably isn't gonna feel as supple as some other ones on the market. The lights on here are really cool. They're really adjustable. So you can point it down or farther out for sort of a more far off distance like me uh, right down like this is a bit silly in the city I think if you're you know going up against ambient light these lights may not be the best on the market I don't think any of them are on the market for what it's worth even my Sherman with that being said all of you who don't live in a big city I think it'll be adequate for you but I like that you can adjust it my only qualm once again is with build quality I think these are made of plastic and they're definitely gonna break off in a serious crash so you might want to buy a couple of these the last thing is the rim here, and the rim I think is pretty cool because it's got its own design, and also it seems to be reinforced. So we'll see over time if this whole design structure reinforcement really holds up. I think it should, but you know, the real test is when it gets in your hands. And when you guys buy it, you'll prove whether or not this thing can really hold up in all the different conditions you'll end up riding it in. So overall, I also found the torque lacking on this wheel compared to other 20 inch wheels on the market. I know a lot of you out there really love the torque or saying you are, but remember this is 126 volts when all the other wheels on the market are 100 and below and I, I kind of feel like this isn't really wowing me, it's not nailing it. But on the whole, uh, this wheel is full of great amenities, versatility, well designed suspension, uh, reinforced rim, a built in seat and it goes 45 miles an hour. Imagine that, a king song. So all of this would be amazing 
if it weren't for the following list. Let's just get into it. Durability. Questionable. Range. Awful. Speed. Middle of the road. Braking. Disappointing. And of course, acceleration, which we, let's just be honest, we should just call this the MOSFET issue. Okay, the MOSFET issue. Or really, it's the cutout issue. Some notable influencers and dealers have seen this firsthand, and even some have experienced cutout on the S20 at low speeds. And I think this is due to the MOSFETs being too small. It seems by all accounts that they just sort of upcycled the S18 board and just modified it a bit. If you ask me, more voltage should overall make it safer, faster, and full of torque, which leads me back to my hypothesis about being over-designed. I think in typical King Song fashion, they haven't wowed us. Even with 126 volts, it's just not blowing me away. But for all these shortcomings, some of which could be solved in a later batch with better firmware, I still find myself drawn to the S20. It's doing something that I can't pinpoint. So I had an idea. I've called upon an old friend, but not because the S20 is so fierce, but I think the S20 brings me back to the old days of riding when everything was more about fun, the ride, and how it made you feel. VX, what's going on, man? Thanks yeah. for having me. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> I'm good. How's everything? Great. You know, I still ride my wheel, uh, just on production sets and, you know, camera operators, so you know how it goes, right? Yeah, doing the thing. Yeah, yeah. But um, thanks for having me, man. EVX. You know how much people have asked for me to be in their videos and I said no? But, you know, come on. It's EVX, baby. Let's do it. Hey. Feeling better than I ever been. Cairo in his bag, this beat is heaven sin. Back up in my element, new whip, trunk up in the front, I whip an elephant. It's all limo tint, that's how you move when you the president. You ass and off stream, treat him like my last name. Disrespecting, you just signed a check for a long day. Appetizer rappers, you will never be an entree. Really, you a condiment. And I hope y'all follow this. Crazy how people with the most money lack the common sense. Batman over got them, how I'm over shit. Running this game. Now they finally noticing, hear us on TV like, damn, yup, I know that's them, just had to pay the dues. Now I feel like we could never lose, was it's us against the world, now we finally got the tools. Watch a few years later, turn a puddle to a pool, we just gotta keep it hot to keep the family living cool. Fam on the island, that's off one check, but I can't get reckless. The next ones I'm investing, tasted broke ones. <laughs> I don't want no seconds. Living in the moment, but still planning for the future. I'm just blessed to live my dreams. Modern day Martin Luther, I'm a trooper. Gotta stand for something, or you'll fall for nothing. Then it's all for nothing, real dog. We just getting started like the kickoff. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch the lift off. Right, Deshaun, we had a very fun time, right? Yes, we did. It was, uh, yes, we did. <laughs> too much fun. A lot of times we got <laughs> too far went downtown, <laughs> uptown. <laughs> past the checkpoint. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the S20? Give you me know, an honest, don't lie. Yeah, no, I can't. Listen, everybody knows, everybody online, you know, I try to respond to many posts about the whole uh, shock absorption thing. Uh, I'm, I was always, I'm always against it. I'm, I am, I am against it, but I can honestly say, it, it's a fun wheel. The wheel did what I needed it to do though. Like I, I think we was going pretty fast, right? Like I'm, and I know you said you was beeping on your wheel. Oh yeah, bit. we're hitting over 40. Yeah, easily, easy. And I, I didn't feel like the wheel was like 
at its max. It just kept going, which I like. You know, it's weird because like Mickey's like, hey, let's jump over, let's jump over some stairs, let's jump the curb, and I'm like, uh, cause I know on the other wheel, I gotta get ready, but this thing, I was just, I just went over the wheel like it was over the curb, like it was nothing. Like you saying it's like butter. Yeah, dude, literally, it's it's insane. So I I I get it. There, there's definitely a market. I will not spend three thousand dollars on it. It's I like a, to say it inspires like a, a new type it, of riding. You know, it, it's funny you mentioned that. I, like you said, like we went past the checkpoint a whole bunch of times because I was having such a blast. Like I actually had fun riding this wheel. Again, like I didn't have to look, I didn't worry about looking down too much at the at the potholes. I was too busy just trying to go faster, right? So I think that's cool. I think that's, right. you know. Awesome. Yeah. Mick, I appreciate you uh, letting me test out this wheel, man. Oh, Again. I, I appreciate you. <laughs> in this cold, uh, I know, it got windy. cold. Yeah, it did. It was hot today. This would be 60 degrees. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Um, you know, but yeah, dude, this is, this, this, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I had a good time. This was fun and, uh, can't wait to see what else you have in store for us. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming out. Making it fun. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Got it, got enough, so I split it. Everybody solid, worldwide, now I'm trending. On the hot top, they touch down, now I'm winning. How they gon' stop it? We the talk of the town. Look at me now, up in a way. We in a cloud. We set it off every time we get involved. You can let them know if they forget it, cause we got it all day. So clearly the S20 is magnetic, not for the looks, but for the simple fact that it causes me to approach riding in a different way. I think often each of us get stuck in our same patterns of our riding styles, whether it be riding in straight lines or carving or simply jumping crazy jumps or gaps, but the S20 has been inspiring me to ride differently, to ride a path less traveled, and to just be carefree and have fun again. For me, it's created a whole new ride outlook, and that, might be the best reason to purchase this wheel, especially when we're spoiled for choice in this new EV era. Lastly, I like to judge who this wheel would be ideal for. If you're an experienced rider that doesn't do a lot of off-road, I'd say you might wanna skip this wheel. But if you love off-road and you have awful streets or you own multiple wheels and you need something new and inspiring, I'd say this wheel is perfect for you. But no matter what, I am excited that we have seen such amazing innovation in a single wheel device this early in the EV era. And I predict in the future, it'll be a wheel where other companies try to rip off different parts of this and integrate it into their wheels for years to come. So that wraps it up for me in this video, but if you enjoyed it, smash that like button down below, and leave a comment and let me know what you like the best about the S20 and how you might use it if you bought it. But thank you once again to Yuko and E-Rides for sponsoring this video, and if you wanna own this amazingly fun uh, concept car EUC, you can find the links below to your respective dealer and lock in that order today. So thank you so much for watching, and as I always say, keep riding, never stop. Thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, keep riding. Wow, that's a bad Pacino impersonate, or Pacino. That's a bad Godfather impersonation. Um, ugh. Stop, Mickey, stop. Got our robes on, we're riding through the city. Just having a quick ride, guys. Nothing wrong with that. It's Nothing a new style. All of you guys gotta be jealous, new style. <laughs> Rope riding in the summertime. We're not around. Hey. Oh.